hello. Welcome back to the vlog. Happy Tuesday. Fun fact, I don't think I've, sh I don't know if I've shared this with you, but my camera, I think is in the process of dying. So there's like, there's like a flip out screen on top and um, sometimes it shows me upside down and that's super annoying. Anyway, hello, hi, welcome back to the vlog. Today is Tuesday, the 26th of March. I just got home from work, went to pick up some groceries and yeah, that's where we are. We are at T minus two days <laughs> until spring break. So I am feeling it. I am ready for the break. I do love my new school and I love my kids and like it's been a great time. And honestly, like I cannot, excuse you, get down. I cannot believe how close we are to the end of the school year. One of the teachers told me, so we have like two days left this week and then we're off Friday, we're off next week. And then when we get back, she said there's only 35 more days of school. I don't know if that's accurate because I have not counted, but um, like what in the actual world? Time flies when you don't hate your job. I gotta tell you, like this time last year, I was like, it will never end, ever. I remember we were talking to the art teacher about spring break and we were both like, I'm going to sit in a room and do nothing. I don't want to do anything that makes it go by quickly <laughs> like um because we were we were at that point and I, you know, I mean we also had like the school catching on fire and other things happening at this time last year but still i am just like i cannot explain to you the level of exhaustion i had last year at this time and the last couple years at this time versus like how i'm feeling now i mean right this second i'm pretty tired but that's because i'm like actually like i need to go to sleep tired i haven't adjusted to the time change and i did not get to bed um as early as i would have liked the last two nights so anyway all that to say hi hi hello welcome to my week we are gonna have a busy 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 one right this second i need to finish getting the groceries out of the car and put those up i think i'm gonna take the dogs on a walk it's really gloomy but i don't think it's supposed to rain so we've got that going for us let us let us inquire Nope, looks like we are not gonna rain. I have a massive headache, but that's probably because tomorrow and Thursday it is supposed to rain. So definitely should take them out today while it is not, I mean, it's gloomy, but it's not raining. So we'll do that and then come back and tidy up because that's just really, really, really needs to be clean. Um, it's just kind of like we didn't, you know, we, we, we just started a lot of projects. We need to like clean them up. Specifically, one thing I have done this weekend is, mm -hmm. I know I get like, like a really, I painted all the doors that are downstairs. So I painted the front door back in November, loved it. So I went through and painted all the doors in the house. I'll show you like the little hallway that has a bunch of them um, that are downstairs because we have a lot of doors. And so my plan is to do the upstairs ones probably next week, um, but it looks so good. It's the same color as the piano room and the dining room. Um, and I'm obsessed. We also got new handles. So they're coming in this week. And then once they come in, we're gonna change all the doorknobs. And so they're like a pretty brushed, I don't know what it's called. Uh, you'll see them when they come. Um, but they're gonna look so much better than the really cheap builder, you know, ones that came with the house. So I'm excited and yeah, it was, it was a good way if you're looking for something like not too time consuming and not too expensive, highly recommend painting the doors. It, I used the paint we already had um, so I didn't even pay for paint and I already had, you know, the paint brushes and stuff. So I didn't pay for any of that stuff. And if I didn't change the knobs, it would have been like basically a free situation. Um, I think I added up, it took me about nine hours over the course of three days. So I did almost all of it the first day and then two hours one day and then one hour yesterday. Um, but it looks so, so, so good. And I can't wait to get the new doorknobs. We were just like, we've been talking about getting new doorknobs and then I took them all off to paint. And then I was like, well, why would I bother putting back the ones we don't like anyway? So this is what's exciting around here. Anyway, so plan is groceries, dogs, clean, dinner. We're gonna have um, like teriyaki chicken. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna make it. And then eat dinner. 
and then after dinner i have a lot a lot a lot of work to do because i have a lot a lot a lot of products to post and some things to finish up and get ready i want to um, update a preview for some products that are currently in demand to hopefully up that conversion rate so that is planned for tonight i will not finish everything because there's like hours and hours of work but i'm hoping to at least get it started so this is this is where we are here on this tuesday basically all week i just want to like knock things out i want to get products posted i want to get things done i want to get things finished and uploaded i want to like today i finished i needed to write lesson plans for a bunch of the lessons that are going up i just like i just want to knock it out so that's the plan I want to clean the house. I, want, I just want everything to be in order. It's great because it's almost quarter two. Anyway, that's all that's going on. But we are also headed to Disney soon. So I did get a Disney package that I'm excited about. So let me show you all the fun things. So I got new ears. I'm going with like a tangled theme because y'all know how I feel about a theme. So I got these off Etsy because I couldn't find any that like matched the outfit I was going for. And then we're going to the hoop de doo review, which is a like dinner theater show at the campground. I've never been, so I'm not really sure what to expect, but I was like, dinner show, we should go with a like Toy Story, Woody theme, right? Cause cowboy. Um, and so I found this one. Isn't he amazing? He's a puppet, like he move, his arms move. And then it's supposed to look like he's Woody's roundup inside of a TV and I just love it. It's like textured. It's so great. It's so great. And it was on sale, which was also great. And then um, this guy just hopped into my cart. I love Finding Nemo. Like, I don't know that I could ever pick a favorite Disney movie, but it is way up there. I love Finding Nemo love it and they did a bunch of things a few months ago because it was the 20th anniversary and I really wanted it but I didn't get it I got a different one and I was like I don't need two Nemo backpacks turns out I did because now it's on sale and I was like yes yes we do need it so I will link those down below if they're still available and I'm gonna go get to work products posted so three lesson packs that are all song based I've been working really hard on trying to make them as good as possible and really improving like my quality so these all include editable lesson plans where the whole thing is editable I made um, recordings of each of the songs with so wait, I mean two for each so one with myself playing either the piano or the xylophone and then one with like the accompaniment man and me singing it um I'm just like really trying to make it like as good as possible so that you know high quality so that people will buy it and people will really really like it so hopefully those will do okay it is not everything I have but it's a start so more to come I think that's all the slides so now I have printables to do next time tomorrow hello happy wednesday today was a pretty good day um i've been having a lot of those like really fun moments where i you know am doing something with the kids and we're like singing a song or playing a game or doing an activity and it's just like warms my heart <laughs> I'm just like I get to do this every day. That's been great. Um, so I had some moments like that today. That was nice. Had some moments that were not so like that today, because it's almost spring break. The kids are feeling it, and I'm feeling it. 
Um, stayed after school for rehearsal. I really didn't want to and I really shouldn't have because I wanted to get the coffee chat filmed today and I don't have time to film the coffee chat. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. And I got home, I even went and like fixed my hair and then I was looking at the clock and I was like, I, can't, I don't have time. They're like, that's just not gonna work. Um, so that's super frustrating to me and that's no one's fault but my own. Like I should have said, hey, no, I can't, you know, stay this week. But she asked, the theater teacher asked, like if I could stay and I was like yeah I can stay on Wednesday and then I was like looking at my schedule and I was like crap I'm really busy I shouldn't stay on Wednesday but I had already given her my word and then like her kid was sick and it was just like a whole big thing and so she came to school just for rehearsal and I was like well she's coming just for rehearsal like I need to make sure I'm there turns out I feel like I really didn't need to be there um because we did mostly like just a run through so I mean, it was good because I got to hear some things and wrote down some notes for like what we need to work on. But overall, I'm just really irritated that I, I should have said, hey, no, I can't stay. I need to go home and get stuff done. So I wanted to film the coffee chat today and then everything else tomorrow. And now I'm only gonna have one day to film. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. Things like that, they really stress me out because I want to like be able to do the things, but I, don't have time for all the things and that's really obnoxious and like I'm not gonna want to film over spring break because I'm gonna have to like get all nice to film and that's harder when I'm home I guess I do have good Friday service so I guess it wouldn't be a total waste if I did my makeup on Friday but I don't know so I'm quite frustrated at the moment I also slammed my hand in the door and it hurts like it's already you see probably not there's already like a like it's like blue on my middle finger and there's like a big old bump compared to like that one's flat it is it is not feeling good it's not I, I can move it so it's not like broken just just frustrating so that's where I'm at today irritated frustrated it's no one's fault with my own but I just really really dislike when I want to get things done and I can't and it's very very frustrating to me I was like oh I'll be home at 6 15 and get that done but I didn't think like oh I get home and then I let the dogs out and I get the mail and I pull the trash can in and I have to fix myself and so like by the time I did all that I was like it's time to make dinner <laughs> So that's super duper frustrating to me, but you don't care. But if you feel that way, I'm with you. I know my hand hurts and I'm sad. So there we are. I'm irritated, I'm frustrated. I really need to look and be more choosy with what days I come to rehearsals in the future. Just because I need whatever time I can get and I don't have much of it. So, yeah, hear that for me. And again, it's my own fault. Like, I should have been like, hey, no, I can't stay. But I had already said I could, and it was just, like, oh. anyway, moving on. Yesterday, I got a few products posted. I got three, like, Google Slides presentations up. So today, after dinner, my plan is to get some of the printables that go along with the Google Slides because I like to do less impact. So I do like slides and I do printables and then usually a third thing and I bundle them together and make it a whole less impact is usually what I call it. Um, so I got slides done yesterday. I'm gonna get the printables done today. I did get um, previews for my products that are already posted that are like basketball themed. I got those done this morning so I can get those posted onto those products that I already had. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna go make some tortilla pizza and I might have some coffee or maybe a fresca. No, maybe coffee because I think we're almost out of frescas and I wanna leave some for husband. I don't know. I'm gonna do it something to make myself feel better. Better light slashing. Let me go. Oh, but first, really quick outfit of the day because I'm wearing my Amazon skirt that I got in a video here with you. I'm gonna link the skirt. I can also link this shirt. I got it last year, but they have the same one again this year at Jacob. So I will link those down below. 
Okay, outfit change because it's like 30 minutes later. <sighs> what even at that 30 minutes? I already feel a lot better um, since I'm a toddler and have to work on regulating my emotions. Um, here are some things that have helped me. One, making a new plan. Well, actually, first of all, I went and did some yoga and that helped a lot. Nice deep breaths. <laughs> I only did 10 minutes, but my, my um, rule is if I do 10 minutes, it counts. So whether that's 10 minutes of workout, 10 minutes of piano, 10 minutes of reading. If I do 10 minutes, then it counts. And I really highly recommend that, especially if you're trying to like form new habits because the habit is more important than the length of time. Obviously I'm not gonna become like an amazing yogi from 10 minutes of yoga, but it's helping me, you know, feel better regulate my emotions and well as keep that habit in check so i that's my my rule with everything is if i do 10 minutes <laughs> then it counts um then i made a new plan for like what i was gonna do since i have messed up my plan and then i just went and like got dinner ready and while it was in the oven cleaned the whole kitchen and that made me feel much much, much better so feel a little bit better I'm gonna go eat and then I'm gonna do some work on the computer. That's the plan for today. So, there we go. Sorry for losing mine, but it happens. Here we are. got some things posted I think I mentioned before I have some products I made last year that I never got posted um, like worksheets to go along with different songs and I just never got them up so that's been my project recently is getting those up and then I also had um, two new lesson packs that also needed worksheets that I made so I've been working on posting worksheets I got most of them done I have two more sets of worksheets and a like vocalization activity left to do but my laptop was about to die <laughs> um coupled with it's 10 o'clock and i'm just ready to go and get into bed um so i was like you know what we'll just pause there finish it up later it'll be fine um <laughs> yeah not that i even need more products i have so many products in my store but there's just so many things to teach in elementary music. There's like so many things that I use in my class. And so, yeah, you know, you think like on a normal week, I probably do at least 10 different folk songs, not even including like recorded songs that we listen to. And so each of them could potentially have their own slideshow and their own worksheets and their own activities. And a lot of them I do, not every single one, but yeah. So that's, this is why if you're like, Michael, why do you have so many products in your store? There's just so many different things. And also I'm obsessed with seasonal things. Anyway, so I'm working on getting all those up and posted two days down. Hopefully tomorrow I can get the last of them um little hack for you one thing i've been doing especially if i have a lot of things to post is posting with just the cover and the thumbnails and then going back and doing the previews i'm not saying don't do previews i'm saying it's better to post them than to not post them because you don't have previews so i'm trying to get everything up and then next week probably i'll go through and add previews and video previews to everything to try to get everything just sorted and ready to go um so that it's you know they're available and has its best chance because i want to give all my products the best chance to get purchased by giving it good seo and really good previews and descriptions and stuff like that but i also need uh, you know to get them up so <laughs> that has been something that's been helpful for me if i have lots of products especially lots of products that are very different if they're all like very similar it's one thing but if they're all very different it like it's just too much to think about so i'm like i can do covers and thumbnails and then i'll go back and add in all the previews and stuff so that's what i have been up to there's your little hint you probably have plenty of footage in this video right right i would say so 
my finger still hurts. I think I'm gonna have like a really nasty bruise. Cause I'm really uh, okay, I'm about ready for bed. Um, just remember, as you're going about your day, as you're doing your side hustly thing, because that's what we talk about over here, that everything's a give and take, and that you really just have to find ways to make things work for you in the best way you can, especially if it is something you're doing on the side, especially if you do have a full-time job, because one, you have to give yourself grace, and two, you do have that to kind of fall back on. So what I mean by that is like this week, you know, like today, I got home late and I didn't get things done and I was frustrated and like that's just sometimes the reality. Last week, last week I accomplished nothing. You know why? Because I was so flipping tired. I could not get up on time. Like the time just changed a week and a half ago, two weeks ago could not get up on time and i mean there was one night i literally fell asleep on the couch at like 7 30. seriously we were watching a show and the next day we were watching like the next episode and i was like i think we missed something like we did not watch you know like this person wasn't in the last one and i could not figure it out and then it dawned on me i was like oh i slept through most of that episode that's why i'm super confused um and although it's obviously not ideal and you know we do things like the ideal week and productivity and time management and planning like i do all those things but the reality is that some days it just doesn't work out and so you have to have a backup plan you have to be a little bit flexible even if it's frustrating and you know you just gotta you just gotta you just gotta do the things some things that help me with that are um not having a lot of things with deadlines that's why even y'all i want to start a membership so bad like i think it would be so much fun i would love to do coaching and like i would love to do all these things but over the years i've realized i cannot do things that require me to be at a certain place at a certain time i just can't because i have days like this you know and so like things come up that make it really difficult for that for me and so i just can't do that um so instead things like even videos that have to go out by a certain day i can make those videos a month ahead two months ahead like i can make them way ahead so even though yeah there is like a deadline it's not quite as strict as like you know if i'm doing like a live or if i have to have something out by a certain time so that helps me a lot um and then the second one is working ahead and then the third has just been really trying to be okay with what I can get done and letting the rest go, which is easier, I will say, when you have a bajillion products and you have a bunch of blog posts and you have a bunch of videos because it's not, I'm not trying to build it like from the very ground. Um, and I definitely was more fussy at the beginning, but I also had more time. So, you know, it's like, where do you want to, where do you want to go with that? So anyway all of that to say give yourself some grace if you're busy and you're working full-time because the reality is if you have a full-time job and you have a side hustle you cannot give them both a hundred percent all the time so like you know sometimes it's just it's just gonna be what it's gonna be and you know i don't like i don't like things like that but we we have learned to let things go just like elsa Every time I do, I always say this when I say let it go, and I always envision like snowflakes just flying off into the air. Okay, I should go to bed and stop telling you weird and random things. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon when I'm on spring break. Hallelujah. And very, very, very soon, we're gonna have a Disney vlog. Woody and I are very excited. Did I, did, I show you, did I show you how he moves? Probably. <laughs> He's so cool. Okay. See, this is this is why I have a TBT store so I can buy things like Woody Lounge Vice. <laughs> there we go. Okay.